It may be surprising for us, here it's Jesus is at Martha's house, and yet she's anxious, she's stressed out, she's worried. A lot of times we feel the same way, and we wonder why we're so anxious, why we're stressed out. Isn't Jesus supposed to bring us peace? Well, part of it is because we try to do too much. Obviously, just imagine Jesus wants to come to your house. Well, you're not going to just prepare a salad for him, right? You want to do the best that you can. you got to be so busy and stressed out and concerned. What does Jesus like? What doesn't he like? How can I make a great meal for him? Yet that's not what Jesus wants from us. What Jesus wants is for us to listen to him. That's the priority, not is that we shouldn't do Mar- what Martha did or shouldn't we act out of faith, but first it has to come from listening to Jesus. Let him guide us. That's what's important for us before we jump into action. We are people who are very stressed these days, and we express our stress with anger, just like Martha did. She just right away went to Jesus, well, tell my sister to come and help me. We need to slow down and make sure we take the time to listen to Jesus. I know we think, well, I don't have time, but try it. Give Jesus the time in your day, and you'll see how you can end up doing everything else you need to do and being at much more peace than spending that time with Jesus. St. Francis, that's how St. Francis changed his life. He was forced to stop doing anything when he was in prison. And while he is in prison, he was in prison, that's when he began, began to hear the voice of Jesus calling him to change his life. When he got out of prison, he used to spend a lot of time out in the forest, in the fields, quiet time, listening to the guidance of the Lord. And then we know the story when finally he heard one day Jesus tell him while he was praying in a, you know, in a ruined church, build my church. And that's when he began to change his life completely. He thought Jesus was telling him to build the ruined church where he was praying, but obviously Jesus had a bigger church in mind, and that's the universal church. And we all know all the contributions of St. Francis throughout the centuries. Today we're called to do what Mary did, do what St. Francis did, Make sure that we're taking time every day to listen to Jesus, to listen to his voice. And it could be as simple as just being quiet for five, ten minutes. Don't have your TV on, your radio on, your iPhone, iPad. Just sit quietly for ten minutes. Admire the beautiful creation, God's beautiful nature, as St. Francis taught us. Or just read the gospel for a few minutes and reflect on What's Jesus telling you through his words? Ten minutes a day with Jesus will give you much more peaceful days than you think.